Hello everyone, this is Adam Jacobs uh, with Click. Um, one of the things I've heard that organizations are trying to do is repurpose uh, assets during this crisis so that they can um, handle what the crisis is going to be throwing at them. Um, this can be anything from deciding that uh, certain people need to uh, be placed into, temporarily at least, placed into new positions uh, so that they can um, take care of business in more critical roles or whether that be um, stopping production of a certain product to make more N95 masks or things like that. Um, so it got me thinking that uh, this is something that can be done very easily inside Click. Um, in fact, you'll see how easy it is for me to just be able to decide um, that I need something more in one area and where I can draw that from. In this case, we've uh, created some data from a fictitious company uh, where we have information about um, where employees are, current, where their current positions are. Um, we have information about the criticality of those positions. Uh, we have information about um, what skills each employee possesses and therefore what other positions that qualifies them to be able to uh, perform in. Um, and then we also have information around uh, the skill level um, of, that, uh, of that employee, so how highly rated they are for the skill that they're doing um, in their uh, current role as well as other skills that, they, uh, that qualify them for other roles. Um, and uh, then also uh, be able to decide how to move people based on each of those criteria so that um, we're choosing the best people possible. Uh, so let me show you what I've built. So uh, with this dashboard, I'm presented with some information about this uh, fictitious company. Um, there are 12,690 employees approximately. Um, the number of employees that have more than one skill is a little over 3,000. The average number of skills per employee is uh, 1.26. Um, and right now I haven't done any headcount adjustments. Um, what you can see here also is the uh, critical level of each of the positions with um, one being the highest criticality and five being the lowest and the required skills for each of those. Um, along the top, I have some input boxes. So what this allows me to do is this allows me to adjust uh, how many people I need in any given position. So if I come up here and I say, well, I need 100 people in position J, notice that um, my number for position J has jumped up. In fact, I can see the positive adjustment here in green. And then I also have some negative adjustment in these uh, other bars. Um, if I look at this uh, bar graph here, this is actually specifically showing me um, what I've added and what I've taken away. So not only that, actually if I go to my um, assignment here, I can actually see which employees these are and what position they've been assigned and um, what their current position is, as well as their rating for their new position, as well as their rating for their current position. If I need to add in more than one position, for instance, um, even though uh, position J happens to be the highest criticality, position I is pretty critical as well too. Let's say I need to add 70 employees for this. Well, now this is also going to add employees for this position. You can see I've, um, I've adjusted the headcount for 170 um, employees. Now one of the things that's highlighted here though is that there are a number of employees that Click has picked um, where they may have um, high skill rating in this new position, but their current skill rating is also pretty high. It highlights anything that's um, a, a rating above a 7. So maybe what I want to do is I want to say I only want employees with skill positions 5, 6, and 7. And so now what this has done is that it's readjusted who I'm picking so that it's p picking from other positions. They are picking from positions where now there's a little bit higher criticality instead of only 5s. It's position, it's picking from uh, some fours as well as you can see here. Um, but this is giving me the um, most appropriately available people to move into these new critical positions uh, in this time. And what I can do is I can actually um, share this with someone by downloading this particular uh, table into an Excel sheet. And when I uh, do that, and I open that up, I now have an Excel sheet that I can share um, with someone to say these are all the people that we need to repurpose 
um, in order to keep things uh, humming um, appropriately. That's what I wanted to show you guys. Um, to explore the data yourself, uh, you can go to the link on the page below. Um, you'll see on the left-hand side there is a quote-unquote folder that says HR. Um, and then you can select Crisis HCM, stands for Crisis Human Capital Management. Um, I really hope that this has uh, inspired folks to be able to use data in a way that helps us really combat this, uh, this virus um, that we're experiencing. And I um, hope everyone uh, stays safe and stays healthy. Thank you.